today's video will be about the Marlin Party. I decided to do a, a video on each event of the parties. So, there's seven parties, and this is the Marlin one. So, basically, the plan is I will go through everything that you need to know about the party um, for this, on this video. Right. So basically, for the Marlin party, we have a few options. We've got boiled sailfish and seaweed. And we got Marlin soybean paste roast. You also have available the sailfish sushi and the Marlin sushi dishes. However, they're not what we're going to focus on, but they are an option. Those are the only four dishes this party actually has, so this is actually the party with the least amount of dishes. However, that said, it has a very powerful dish, so you want to focus on this one if you can. Or it might be like you have the other dish, the Marlin Soybean Paste Roast, higher level because it's easier to get a hold of. Oh yeah, I do. This is great. Right, so I've got all the southern ball kelp from the village now. Very, very useful. If I wanted to, I could go to the glacial area and get two more. But I don't think that's worth my time. Oh, there is no fast way back up to the surface like yeah, the shallows area and the shipwreck area, so I'm going to have to swim there. I'll probably cut to that. It's worth noting I want to save all three of my drones for marlins and sailfish. So I'm in the medium depths now. I want to be heading to the shipwreck. Alright, here we are, the shipwreck. Alright, next thing's next. I want to get the sailfish that's over here. Oh good, it's one of those times where it just occasionally doesn't spawn. Oh, looks like that was useless. I guess I have to come back in the afternoon. Yeah, sometimes the sailfish doesn't spawn down here. It really is kind of a thing. So with that, I have to go back up to the shallows and catch the marlin anyway. There might be another marlin somewhere around. I find they tend to like open waters. It will normally spawn quite high up. That dive wasn't very successful, but doesn't matter. I'll just die it again. I'm not even sure Marlins can spawn on this map. Guess we'll find out. So sometimes you just get very, very unlucky. Which is kind of annoying because I want to try showing off some of the Marlin spawn spots. But. I suppose I can show off how, yeah, you can just be unlucky sometimes. Oh, There is a Marlin. Let's see if there's a second one.
Oh, it's a dead end, okay. There is a second one. drone them because I only have one drone left but I'm just gonna be inhumane and leave them there and fishing nets. So we've got the limestone cave. It looks like the narrow like the wide limestone cave, not the tall limestone cave. So that means the ship is right here. When you have a limestone cave, the ship actually tends to be higher up there, if you don't. This time the sailfish has spawned, so I just need to get to it. I need to find the nearest exit. Right. It's Marlin party time. Also, the interesting thing about the party is if you skip the party, like pass a restaurant night, you just get the same party back each time. So, see, I skipped the last four Marlin parties, so now I have still Marlin party available. So my strategy here is going to be simple. Well, I could serve this. I'm just going to serve this. I'm going to put it on five times. 45 people. Really easy. Due to the price of this dish, it'll actually be a really, really good night. Now I'm hanging around where people's plate's gonna be. There we go, perfect. I sold all the dishes that I put on. Served every customer. Let's see what I get. Give me the thumbs down because the branch restaurant sucked. 
this ranch restaurant always sucks. That's about it for this video. Hope you have a good day.